Welcome to another exciting rip, everyone. Today, I'm actually going to be sharing with you, instead of opening fresh packs, we're going to be looking at my stack sale purchases from Pizzles Cards and Collectibles over on Twitter, briefly known as X. If you're on there, I would strongly suggest following if you're a card person, and obviously you are, or else why would you be watching this video? The link to his Twitter profile will be down below. Before we open this, I just want to go over what it is and how it works if you're unfamiliar with stack sales as I was. Fortunately, I got lucky when I first got on Twitter. I found a bunch of, of cool baseball card people and paid attention to what they were doing and then realized, okay, the people they're buying from are reputable, so I can jump in and, and you know, spend some money, which is what I do. And I find myself doing that regularly with, with Anthony's cards. He's got a lot of great cards. They always come in great condition, as you're about to see. What a stack sale is, so let's explain that. People on, on Twitter or other social media will present cards from time to time and say, hey, Here's this Don Mattingly rookie card for 79 cents. And then somebody will say, hey, I'll buy that. Okay, well, you're not paying the 79 cents right now plus the shipping. Instead, your card will just, as the name would imply, go into a stack. So we have this Russell Wilson PSA 9. You just bought that. Okay, great. Next day, there's going to be a Pat Tillman card, another Pat Tillman card. And now these are all going into your stack so that you're only paying shipping on one and it's fun to get a package of, of cards in the mail more so than ripping open white envelopes every day for an hour and a half so that's that and it's very simple with with anthony you don't have to sit there and say oh i like this card none of the small talk just as it says take and then the quantity that are available if there's more than one and the player's name if if the listing has more than one player so let's go ahead and explain what that means real quick so here's a jackson merrill card he just listed today actually of course that that one's not even for sale so <laughs> scroll down to his actual things that are for sale and this is perfect too. I'm glad that we popped up, or the, I'm glad that tops now popped up as as the top cards, because you'll see here this five dollar card. If you only want one tops now card from tops, you're paying nine dollars minimum. And yes, you can get a free shipping. So, yeah, it's only gonna be nine dollars. But let's say you don't want to pay nine dollars for that card. You're a Phillies fan. Here you can have her for five bucks. Anthony shipping is five. But remember what I said about stacking those. So you buy a bunch over the course of three weeks. Now you're getting a deal. The benefit is in your hand the more you buy. Granted, some Tops Now cards are going to be more expensive. This is the 5252. They dropped that to the normal price on Tops Now. So Anthony can give it to us at a good discount. The 5050 on Tops Now was $1199. So Anthony's price, I think, was $850 or $9. Still a discount. So keep that in mind. Also worth noting, He's not going to be sending you, there's no chance you're going to get the one of one. That's where the benefit of him going out of his way to make the larger purchase comes in. He takes the risk, he'll get the reward, and you'll also get a reward by getting a cheaper card. But it's not just Tops Now. Of course, there was a huge Tops Now dump over the past few days. Also, dope pulls that you're unlikely to find, especially at these prices. So Skeens auto to 99, two bills. Blake Dunn to 15, also auto, 25. These are, yeah, these are both leaf. And that's the other cool thing, a, a wide array of selection. Not just tops, not just leaf or panini. It's the mix of everybody. So that's exciting. And it's just like this. Usually around 8 o'clock, he'll give a, a want to say warning, I guess that is the, an announcement. Hey, I'm about to have a sale in 45 minutes. Buckle up. I always miss that. But you shouldn't. You should hit the, the bell icon if you are interested. Because what happens is nine times out of ten, I'll scroll through and the lower end cards that I want, they've all been snatched up. But I've gotten better at it. We're getting good. So that's that. I hope that wasn't too long or over enthusiastic. Before we continue, it's worth noting, Anthony's not paying me to do this. He doesn't know that I'm doing this. I've never met him in person. There's no affiliation other than I am his customer, to be absolutely clear. To go over the prices, $5 for shipping, and that's in a bubble mailer, that's ground advantage, and then, oh, this is the first time I got red ones, so that's pretty cool, and then also very well packaged in the bubble mailer, you're not just getting a bunch of cards tossed in. Alright, so I think there was going to be a, a large jump cut and it might not make sense. We went from this to now this, we see the padding, the taping, it's a nice Pete Alonzo card, that's for my name, oh, two Pete Alonzo cards. That's the other beauty of it. So every three weeks, and why this is exciting, I really don't remember when I bought. 
and the beauty of finding someone that you can trust is that it doesn't matter. I know that right before he ships them, he's going to send me an email saying, hey, Kev, here's what you owe me. It's going in the mail tomorrow. And I can trust that he's been keeping track of it because I sure as hell haven't. Perfect example. So this show, hey, I wanted it. I missed the actual Tops Now time. And even if I hadn't, I only wanted one despite being a big Shohei collector and I have multiple doubles of, of a lot of his cards. So that's, I think that was a $5. Don't quote me on that. They usually are though, as we just saw. Kershaw, been a Kershaw fan for quite a while. River Ryan, another tops now. I don't, it, it's funny because I honestly don't remember ordering this many tops now but as I'm seeing them then it's all coming back to me a sweet Ellie how dope is that some kind of watercolor something I've never seen I honestly thought that this was just a custom art card but it's not so that's really dope another Gary Carter What did I tell you about having multiple show A's? I like it. There are many like them, but this one is mine. That's the trading card day. Show A. Stocked up. He's coming back, I think, anyway. Couple more show A's, and there's that Pete Alonzo. Going to my nephew. I'm building a pretty sweet Pete Alonzo collection for my nephew, who's uh, turning 10 next year, or this year. But for Christmas, I didn't know what to get him. And I thought, you know what? I do know what to get him. Pete Alonso is his favorite baseball player. He's got a ton of cards, but being a kid, you know, he's got maybe four or five Pete Alonso cards. So now on Christmas morning, he's going to have a huge binder of pretty dope Pete Alonso cards. Thanks in part two, Anthony. That's dope. Whoop. Again, I keep holding her up too high. Jackson Holiday Tops Finest. LeBron at the Olympics. Again, LeBron at the Olympics. Another River Ryan. Bunch of clay. Or no, not a bunch of clay. Clay and Otani. There was... I can't remember what it was. There was art in here maybe it's coming up Bueller interesting fun fact Walker Bueller's dad is a huge Walker Bueller collector and the last I heard he's got 20,000 plus cards of his Walker himself doesn't collect his own cards but his dad sure does and I think that's really cool that is really cool Clay Tops Finest just one it felt like there was two there's another Clay Tops Finest and then there's that second Pete Alonzo so dope. I'm pretty pumped, as you should be too. Again, Anthony's Weekly Card Sales on Twitter. Go check him out. Get in there, follow for a little while. You know, see the cards that he has. See if the timing matches up with your schedule so that you can get cards without getting, you know, anxious about missing out on anything. We see the shipping. We see the packaging. His customer service is the top tier. He'll reach out. You can email him, message him. He'll respond. You know, he's just a regular person. We're not dealing with huge corporations and this and that. And I think that's awesome about the hobby and it's awesome about social media, how we can link up like that. I don't sell cards on social media. It's just I can't wrap my head around that logistical nightmare. But other people have. They figured it out and they're doing really well. So hop on there. If you know any reputable stack sellers that you've dealt with, share those people down below, man. Let's get everybody some, some props. Let's get everybody... A little bit boost as we head, you know, the off season. Well, the playoffs are coming up, so there should be a boost there. Then the off season, they're going to trail off. But what happens in the off season is Christmas. Quarter four, we don't usually think of baseball cards as Christmas gifts, but why? Change that this year. Give some gifts. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. You watch this long, you're an absolute legend. I look forward to chatting with you again. Um, well, yeah, I'll probably do the next time I get an Anthony rep. We will go over that, and there was something else I wanted to mention.
not coming to mind. I guess that's it. I appreciate you watching. I'm going to get all this sleeved up. And I will talk to you soon. Have a great day.